It's time for a pep talk with my employee of the month. Okay. The employee of the month. Well, well, Danny, you can stay anyway. All right. So, guys, this is one of the busiest times of the year for the theater. Mm -hmm. So, the kids are on holiday break. New Christmas movies are being released every single day. Right. And we are one of the only places to be open on Christmas Day. So, people are going to naturally want to come here. So that means I'm going to need you guys to work longer hours and feel more exhausted than ever. Who's with me? Who's ready? Team No Sleep on 3. Okay. That's what you call a pep talk? <laughs> Sounded like bad news to me. Okay, oh, good point. Well, wait, actually, uh, Chris, could I talk to you about something real what quick? What could I do for my newest employee of the month? Well, it's just that... In December, we always go away for the cozy Christmas cottage. Remember? Oh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we got the same cabin for five people. So it's gonna be me and Michael and Gabby and you and Rob. Uh, Melissa, I can't go away at a time like this. And I can't lose all of my employees either. Oh, well, you wouldn't be losing all of us. So you would still have Danny and Vera and Mel and Steph. Yikes, Danny. Vera, Stephanie, and Mel? Oh, Chris is doomed. Well, feel free to give away my spot at the cottage. No, I have to make plans. Oh, but... Bro, what do you mean you can't come? But it isn't going to be the same without you. Fine. It's okay, I'll, I'll tell the others. Hey, hey! Hey, how was work? Ah, oh, busier than usual, but nothing that Chris and I couldn't handle. Oh, but speaking of Chris, I have bad news. Oh no, what happened? <sighs> well, let me just call Michael in here so that I can tell you both at the same time. <clears throat> Michael! I feel like I have permanent hearing loss. Goodness, does she really have to scream like that? Hey! -o. Perfect What's timing. What's up? Hey, well, I... Melissa has some bad news for us. Yeah, I do. Uh-oh. So, the thing is that Chris had a meeting with me today at work, and he was explaining that the theater is going to get really, really crazy busy now during the holidays. Right. So. Well, I guess that's bad news for Danny and Vera, because we're all gonna be cozied up in our Christmas cottage. That's it? No, that's the bad news. What? Chris says he won't come with us. What? what? No way! Chris isn't coming? It's not gonna be the same without him. I know. Plus, who's gonna keep us updated with the latest weather and news report? I know, I feel super sad about it too. Especially poor Chris, he's gonna be stuck with so much work. Bummer. Well, I guess then it's just gonna be the four of us in the Christmas cozy corner. Yeah. Uh, actually, Rob called me earlier. He told me he's not gonna be able to make it either. What? Yep. Now Rob can't make it either? Rob and oh, Chris. No. Doomed. No Chris, and now no Rob? This is a disaster. Did you hear that, Danny? Chris and Rob can't make it to the cozy cottage. There, of course I heard it. I'm standing right next to you. This is our chance, Danny. There are two spots open now. Yeah, Vera, I'm standing next to you. I heard it. Uh, Danny, Vera, are you guys in the hallway? Um, no. What? Were you guys listening to our conversation? Um, no again? I wonder if they believe me. Vera, of course they didn't. You guys are so busted. Just come in here. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. Hi. So how much did you really overhear from that conversation? Mm -hmm. Not too much. Just that Chris and Rob can't make it, which opens two slots up, which is perfect for Vera and I. Oh, so wow. the whole thing. Yeah. So all of it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, technically, they're not wrong. There are two open spots. Yes. <gasps> Perfect! I will start packing. Come on, Danny, before they change your mind. Hurry up! But what, 
What about Chris? Look, I'm sure that Chris is great at managing, right? So I'm sure that by tomorrow he's gonna have a plan. Don't worry about it. Okay. No, that won't work. That won't work either. I have no plan! No plan whatsoever! I don't know what to pack. Okay. There's, what? This is yours, Danny. Uh, look, there, uh, you know that very well. That's yours. That is not mine. What, what? Hey, Melissa? is all Bye. this? Um, well, we are so excited about the cozy cottage. We just couldn't wait to start packing. Well, I'm glad someone's excited. Uh, uh, no, 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 Melissa, don't be such a party pooper. Yeah. We're gonna have fun, okay? Don't worry, let's play a game. <gasps> yes. That'll cheer you up. Maybe. No. I doubt it. It will. Hey. Wasn't that game so much fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was It was fun, but I don't know, guys. I just don't feel right. I'm gonna go get a snack. Have fun packing. Okay. <gasps> what? That is yours. No, uh, Barry, you know very well this is yours. No, you are a better clown than I am. Uh, you look more of a clown. <sighs> oh, God, help me. I just don't feel right leaving Chris behind with all this work. <sighs> hey! hey -o. Have you seen all the craziness that's going on in the living room with Vera and Danny? <laughs> oh my goodness. Those two are so excited about the cottage. They oh, are. We're excited. Funny. I'm glad it worked out for them to come though. Yeah. Um, but if I'm being honest, I don't have peace about it. Something just doesn't feel right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you saying that you don't want them to go? Oh boy, here we go again. It's gonna be the Friendsgiving invite situation all over again. No, 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 it's, it's nothing like that. It's just, I don't know, something on the inside just doesn't feel right. Well, usually that can be the Holy Spirit. And it's in those moments that the best thing to do is to pray and read God's word. That's right, Gabby. Actually, Gabby and I have to go to work, but God is so good that he's going to, I know that he's going to speak to you through his work. Yeah, okay. all right, we'll see you later, okay? Okay, here goes. Catch you later. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I got it! Oh, Melissa, are you okay? Yes. You all right? Yes, um, that's a super well, report. Well, 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 calm down, it. calm down, relax. Melissa, what does it involve sleep? Because it looks like you need some. What? Melissa, I, what do you got? Okay, uh, I need to show you something. I'll sleep later. Uh, uh, something right here in the book of Esther. God's story, Esther. So part of God's story is about a woman named Esther, and it goes like this. <laughs> Esther was adopted by her cousin Mordecai because her parents died. She and Mordecai were Jewish, which means they were part of God's special family. Our story begins right before Esther becomes queen, and God's family gets in some serious danger. Now, even though Esther was Jewish, she lived in Persia, which was ruled by King Xerxes. One night, King Xerxes wanted to show off his wife, Queen Vashti, at a party. She said no. 
So he said Vashti could never see him again, and he needed a new queen. So the king invited all the single ladies in Persia to his palace for a year. He decided Esther was prettiest, and she became queen. Really? But as crazy as that sounds, it was a good choice because Esther saved his life. See, one day, Mordecai overheard two guards plotting to kill the king. So he told Esther, and Esther told Xerxes. Around the same time, another powerful man at the palace, Haman, got really mad at Mordecai. He didn't know Mordecai had saved the king's life or that he was the queen's cousin. So he made a rule that all Jews must die. Like we said, he was really mad. And the king let Haman make this law because he had no idea that Mordecai or Esther were Jewish. Well, all the Jewish people were heartbroken, but Mordecai thought maybe Esther could save them. She was queen after all. Problem is, only a king could change laws. And anybody who even spoke to the king when he didn't want to listen could die, including Esther. But she was willing to try. She said, if I die, I die. Talk about brave. So Esther visited the king. To her relief, he said, what do you want? I'll give it to you. Esther had a plan. Politely, she invited King Xerxes and Haman to dinner. She had saved the king's life. Now she was making a special dinner for him. Xerxes liked that. He said yes. That night, the king asked Esther what she wanted again. And again, Esther invited them to dinner. Haman was thrilled to be invited to dine with the king and queen, twice. But even with this special treatment, he knew he couldn't be truly happy until Mordecai was dead. So he came up with a plan to kill him the next day. But that same day, the king realized that Mordecai had never been honored for saving him. So Xerxes asked Haman how to honor someone. Haman thought the king was going to honor him. Instead, he honored Mordecai. So Haman was already in a bad mood when he got to dinner. But his day went from bad to worse. See, Esther finally told the king that someone made a law to destroy her people. Xerxes was furious and asked, Who dared to do such a thing? Esther told him, it was Haman. Then, the king found out that Haman wanted to kill Mordecai too. Enraged, he ordered that Haman be killed. After that, King Xerxes told Mordecai to make a new law to save the Jewish people. They honored Mordecai and celebrated with a feast. Esther had been willing to risk her life for her people, and she ended up saving them. Like Esther, another rescuer would come one day, and he would actually die to save all of God's special family. And that's the story of Esther. Esther didn't know what would happen when she went to see the king. She could have been killed for goodness sake. But it didn't matter, she had to put her fear aside and do the right thing. Okay, yeah, but Melissa, what does that have to do with you? Yeah, is your middle name Esther? No, no. All this month, I've only been thinking about myself, guys. First with the invites, and then the RSVPs, and then the dinner. But God showed me I can't be like that. I, I need to think of others, like Esther did. This Bible story showed me you can do what you should, even when you don't know what will happen. What I'm trying to say is, I'm not going to be joining you at the cozy Christmas cottage. <gasps> what? 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 I'm going to stay behind and help Chris. First Chris, then Rob, and now Melissa. Is anyone else going to bail on this trip? Melissa, are you sure about this? Yeah, uh, look, just like Esther, I don't know what's going to happen, and I don't know how it's going to be spending Christmas away from all of you, but I do feel in my heart that this is what I should do. Melissa, do you want us all to stay? Wait, no! no! Is Gabby crazy? Man, I don't want to go to the cottage. <laughs> no, I want you guys to go and have a great time at the cottage. Phew, thank God. Well, we can talk on the phone every day. Yeah. Yeah, and we can record a Christmas Chronicle. That way you don't miss anything. That anything. sounds perfect. Now let's end this month of things with a bang, because it's time for me to win the Turkey Bowl Championship! Hey, Woo! let's go! Let's do it. It's time for Turkey Bowl! Let's go, let's 
go. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Welcome to the final round of the third annual Memory Verse Turkey Bowl Challenge. At the sound of the whistle, you will dive in the pool, pull out the memory verse pieces, and assemble them on the board behind you. Anyone who hides their opponent's pieces to sabotage them will be disqualified. Focus, Danny. Here is your memory verse. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 19B. You ready? I'm so ready. Contestants, are you ready? I'm the former champ. Of course I'm ready. Oh, uh, Listen, noobs. We have Stand beginner's side. luck, clearly, Stand so side. God's on our side. <laughs> on your mark. <laughs> Get set. Go! <laughs> okay. All right. Go. Be strong and Where are these papers? Wait, where are these papers? <laughs> hey, sabotage? <laughs> okay, do not lose. Oh, The Lord, your God, I will be you <laughs> Just go. Yes. Joshua, nine, one, nine, B. Who was hiding my piece? Tell me right now. I was, I, I saw that same piece out here and there. I threw it back in there. I was not hiding it. And the winner of the third annual Memory Verse Turkey Bowl challenge is Danny. Congratulations, Danny! You get to take home the very prestigious and highly oh coveted goodness. Turkey Bowl Trophy! I didn't get a trophy. It's so a turkey I don't know. on it! Turkey Bowl Champion. I am honored. Guys, thank you for having me. It was, uh, it was a great game, fair game. <laughs> wow. Um, but we're going to review the team. Yeah. We, uh, don't get attached. I couldn't have done it without them. Guys. I won! I got a trophy! It says Turkey Bowl Champion, and it has a turkey! Mm, it's a new day, and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive with you. You're making all things brand new. So crazy to believe that nothing's ever gonna come between all the love. You have for me. It's a new day, and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive with you.
making all things brand new So crazy to believe that Nothing's ever gonna come between All the love that you have for me It's a new day, new day.